Hello guys, Prolob2010 with you today, welcome to my tutorial series, not series, I might make a series, but right now it's just a tutorial on how to use WinRAR and how to divide a file into different file parts. So here we have an iTunes, let's say I want to upload this to a website, but my website only allows me to upload 50 megabytes at a time. Well, in this case it doesn't work because uh, this file is currently 78.3 megabytes and that makes it impossible for me to upload it to that website. But using WinRAR, we can actually split this file into equal volumes of 50 megabytes each. So if you take a look over here, I've already done this. Part 1, we made this 50 megabytes, and part 2 is just the remaining size that's left. In this case, it's 28 megabytes. So I'm going to show you how to do that all inside of WinRAR. And let's begin. So first of all, download WinRAR, link for this in the video description, and they will provide you with a 90-day free trial. And after that, you may have to buy it, or it might keep working for you if you if you get lucky. But and that happened to me so it worked for me but right click on your file and go to add to archive and you're gonna have a menu option like this this is where you're gonna uh, set uh, your options for your size over here split to volumes and bytes right now it's currently set to bytes if you don't specify what kind of uh, size you're talking about so let's say I wanna let's how about we compress this file and let's divide it into equal volumes of 10 megabytes each so to do that, type in 10, and then just be, do space MB. Or you can type out the whole word megabyte or megabytes or whatever. So 10 MB, and press OK. So based, I'm inferring that it's going to create seven different parts to this, uh, to this file because it's going gonna, it's gonna to export each file to be 10 megabytes big. So here's part one, here's part two, and as soon as it hits the... 30th uh, 30th megabyte it's going to create a third file it's going to create a third part for uh, the archive so here's a part three and it's going to keep doing this until it has all the 70 megabytes until it has all the 78.3 megabytes compressed and stored into different archives so I'll come back to this when it's finished okay so it's finished and now we have one two three four five six seven eight we have eight different archives I guess my uh, prediction was wrong if we right click here and we go to properties we can see that each archive is 10 megabytes um, and if we just do it to every single one we can see that it's 10 megabytes even except the last one which may be different because it just stored as much uh, as it needed so in this case it's 8 megabytes but now you should have no problem taking all these archives and uploading them to a website now this is where the important part happens if you want to extract this file so let's say we're deleted so you would I uh, wouldn't think that it's the same file. Let's create a new folder and let's call this iTunes Archived. Now, if you want the, to extract the file, you need to make sure that you download all of these all of these parts uh, before it can it can work. So, let's say we downloaded all of our parts and we open up iTunes. Well, let's let's not have let's see what's going to happen if we just take out part 2. Let me just show you. And make sure that you have all your archives in one folder and right click and press extract. I'm going to press extract here. As you can see, uh, what happens is you get an error if you don't have a part, uh, and that is important that you have all the parts together so that iTunes can look in the same directory and find the different parts to create your final to create your final file. So I'm going to just put this back, and I'm going to press OK, and it's going to finish ex doing the extraction. And now when we we can see that our file is up here again, and now we sh we just double click and we just do it use it as a normal file because all these parts make up this one file uh, you can't do much with one one part of it or with uh, two parts of it you need to make sure you have all the parts present in the folder for you to get the file off the out of the archive I hope this was helpful tutorial for you guys if you have any questions post them in the comment sections below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible rate comment subscribe and I'll see you guys next time